hey what's up so now i'll show you how we can delete a specific uh, to do from our list so if you remember in our actions we only have add to do action so let's go to our types you can see that we have a remove to do uh, type so let's implement a function for that it will look pretty much the same so delete to do this accepts a to do and just returns an object with the type remove to do and with the to do itself so let's import the type from here and that will be it for our actions but in our reducers we need to handle uh, such case because if we did not handle this it will return the, def the state itself which is not good so in case if we are trying to remove a to do so let's import that here we need to return a new array and luckily since this is an array the state is an array we can filter on it and this fil filter is function in javascript uh, deals with the uh, array as immutable data structure so it will return a new array it would modify the original array which is uh, false in our use case which is very nice so each to do we need to filter it based on this id passed inside this to do right because if you remember each to do has an id and a text and we are generating the ids here by using the generate function so we will filter based on that since this is the only unique thing we have for each to do so for now i'll leave this empty because they have the same names or i can destruct and have get the id so if id is not equal to the to do have been that have been passed dot id then i uh, return it so this will actually return the previous state but without the, the common to do that have been passed here so and the only thing left to do now in our Redux is to export this. So let's go to our index here. Export this. Export this and go to our index in, in Redux and just import it here and export it. And that's it. We are done with uh, the Redux part. Now inside our to do's, I will import a couple of functions or a couple of components. The icon button component the icon component and the flex flex box grid yeah and the alert object so we can notify the user of what happened so what i will do is instead of just displaying the text i will use the flex box grid the justify will be space around and the flex box grid dot item and the column span will be here 12 and here I will display inside h3 our to do text by the way in the each row have 12 columns in most frameworks right front end frameworks but in our suit the row have 24 columns so this is half of the row okay I will have new one just acts like a separator with 10 columns this will be empty and last one with only two columns this will have the icon button just to delete uh, the current uh, element I'll do it like this this will accept an icon component like this so I'll use the icon this accepts a name of the icon this will be minus and another thing this accepts that uh, the color will be red and it will be circle and only click we should call a specific function to dispatch an action so that our so our reducer will be activated and we will return a new array a new array of to do's yeah so I'll create this function called del it will accept a to do and what we'll do we will use the dispatch function which we don't even have at the moment because we need to destruct it from the current uh, props and remember the dispatch function is available because we use the connect function from react redux store from react redux library so we will dispatch and our action that we will dispatch is called delete it's from redux like this so go go one directory back since we are inside the components and go to redux and import the delete to do and just dispatch just call it here inside the dispatch and pass to it the to do and this we can't actually just give it the name of the function we need to pass to it the current to do in our loop remember we are inside our loop at the moment 
what you can do just pass to it a function and this function will call our delete function with the current to do and that's it as you can see this is, is this one here if I hit control and click this will point me to here uh, that should be it so I'm running my server but we need to use our alert to notify the user so alert.info I will use the back stick so deleted I will put to do txt or text yeah if you go to our model it's text okay that should be it so feed the cat feed the cat zero one zero two zero three uh, I think I wrote minus in a wrong way It's, uh, I think it's correct. Not sure why this happened, but anyway, we can. If you click one, it will be removed. So let's remove number two. So removed as well. And now, if you go to inspect and go to Redux, you will see all our actions that have been will be displayed here, which is very nice. So this is the remove. As you can see, when you click on def, you will see that something that have been removed from your to dos, and it will give you actually the index. It's one. Uh, this is the add and something really nice if you jump for this jump on this one you see you will see that this action this something that we did here will be reflected on the UI uh, which is very nice this is a good way to debug stuff and another thing usually when uh, when we have production uh, application we will have like a tool to track every error that happens in the JavaScript console one of them is called honey badger and another one is called new relic you can integrate these tools so whenever they see an error if you are using redux it will get the maybe for example when i remove this an error occurred so it will go and open a, a, uh, an issue in github and give us this current state so we can debug the, the current the error on the exact same environment so we can know the state when an error happens, which is very awesome to de for debugging. And also this kind of thing that we can jump or skip, very awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's it for your basic uh, to-do list application. Not sure why the minus is not showing up, but uh, minus. Maybe I should. Anyway, it's not that important. At least there's a red button. So yeah, this is your to basic to-do list application with Redux and uh, React. In the next video or couple of videos, it will be separated. Each one will uh, tackle a small subject. Maybe one of them, how we can send HTTP request and integrate that with Redux and stuff like this. I will be using this JSON placeholder API with uh, this. Uh, like request so we will be displaying this with the help of redux and uh, yeah we'll just explore some concepts together i hope this was useful if you have any suggestions uh, put them in the comments and uh, thank you